What a marvelous age we live in. The early 20th century was a heyday for St. Louis. The city was a boom town with packed streets, major industry, and a growing population. In those early days of photography, amateurs and professionals documented the city's daily life. Now you can revisit that era. In the Great Hall of the St. Louis Central Library, Photography Through the Lens of St. Louis displays rarely seen photos pulled from the public library's archive. I would describe this as a step back in time to get acquainted with photography from the 1850s up until almost the 1930s to experience different types of photography from daguerreotypes, glass plate negatives, and other photographs taken of regular St. Louisans and also prominent St. Louisans. We wanted to highlight photography, focusing in on portraits, so that our visitors could come and make connections to people in St. Louis. This exhibit reveals that during the early 20th century, St. Louis was a hub for photography. If you look back in the uh, city directories from the 1870s on up through 1920, you can see that there are vast listings of photographers that would have done commercial as well as personal photography. Major photographic supply and chemical businesses were located in the area. Also, St. Louis was a hub for the development of the dry plate negative and home to nationally and internationally recognized amateur photographers. Some of the significant photographers we are featuring in this exhibit, we have Enoch Long with some of his daguerreotypes. We have Wilhelmina and Grace Parrish, and they were known as the Parrish Sisters in St. Louis. We're featuring two cases of their work. They specialized in portraiture, also with landscapes, and they created artistic photograph. We have a collection of Jesse Tarbox Beals, and she was an authorized photographer at the Louisiana Purchase Exposition, or what we know as the 1904 World's Fair. We have a collection of hers here that's unique to St. Louis and unique to the library. It features a number of different peoples from around the world, capturing them in their native environment so that the um, visitor to the World's Fair could experience and engage um, in the world and get to know the world better. The documentation of the World's Fair was also done by a number of other authorized photographers too, and we have several of those images on view that you'll see on our mural on the wall here in the Great Hall. We have the Albert Dubac collection, and it's a collection of glass plate negatives. These were found by some family members. They wanted to make sure that they were going to be cared for for future generations. So they contacted the public library, and fortunately we had room in the collection to receive this lovely collection of photographs. The Dubac collections basically allows you to experience everyday life of a family living from turn of the century up until around the 1930s here in St. Louis. In addition to glass plate negatives and daguerreotypes, visitors will get a rare glimpse of tintypes, lantern slides, stereographs, and more. On the third floor, we have an additional smaller exhibit, and this is featuring Maddie Edwards Hewitt, who was from St. Louis and became well known as an architectural photographer. In 1911, before the building was open, Maddie Edwards Hewitt captured and documented the interior of Central Library. Cass Gilbert is the architect of the library, but she was hired to document the exterior and the interior before the books were moved in and before the public was able to come in. Photography Through the Lens of St. Louis is a life-size exhibit, ideal for history lovers and photography enthusiasts. We invite the public to come down and just experience a step back in time and a chance to really experience the daguerreotype from the 1850s all the way through a portraiture of significant and prominent St. Louisans as well as everyday folks and just get a sense of what it was like to live in St. Louis during this time frame. Well, that wraps up this edition of State of the Arts. Visit our website, hectv.org, to see all these stories and more on demand. There we will have links to the organizations and artists featured in our show. 
Thanks very much for watching, and we will see you next time on State of the Arts. Well, hey!